There are many many monsters, creatures and bosses that have been confirmed to be in the final version of Hytale. My name is Osni and today we will be looking at every single one of these monsters. We will divide this video in many different categories and first one is the zone 1 monsters and bosses. So for zone 1 there aren't that many monsters that you'll be able to find and we'll start off with the fence stalker. The fence stalker are creatures that live in swamps of zone 1 as I said before. They are obviously not friendly so if they see you they will most likely attack you. We recently got information from Hytale that the fence stalkers are friends of the frog so they possibly are some sort of mutated frogs and because they are nocturnal creatures they are pretty much afraid of light so whenever they see light they just cover their eyes and try to avoid it. Next one we have the crawlers. So the crawlers are also not friendly and they are part of the Varen's army. They are said to be some of the weakest opponents that you will face in the game but that doesn't mean they aren't dangerous because they are still dangerous and crawlers got their name because they pretty much move by crawling. Yeah, crawler, crawls, you know, that makes sense. Next up we've got the void spider. And there's still some lack of information about the void spider. But they are pretty much set to either be a corrupted mob or just a dungeon boss in Hytale. I personally think it will be some sort of boss in some sort of dungeon mission but obviously we will only know unless Hytale gives more information or when the game comes out. And lastly but not least for the zone 1 we have the Trorks. The Trorks are obviously the creatures that you have to fight in order to help your friends Quebex and we have the Sentry, we've got the Warrior, the Shaftan, the Shaman, the Hunter and the Wolf Pet. Now going over to the monsters and bosses of zone 2 and first off we have got the Sand Empress and the Sand Empress we don't have much information about this boss because yes it is said to be a boss and as you can see on the image it reminds of a spider so this is most likely going to be some sort of sand spider that you have to fight and this Sand Empress is imprisoned by the Scarex in a portal that is located under the Scarex palace and if if you don't know what the Scarec is, that's the next uh, monster of this list. We have got some different type of Scarex, as you guys can see from the image. We have the Warrior, the Broodmother, the Egg Sack, the Larva, the Locust, the Worker and the Tank. The Scarex are mainly the enemies that you'll be fighting in Zone 2. But there's more monsters that you'll be able to find in zone 2, I won't talk about them just yet, you have to keep watching the video because I will mention them by the end and you understand exactly why. So now we'll be taking a look at the third zone which is zone 3 and in zone 3 you'll be able to find first of all an ice dragon. So we don't have much information about this dragon as of right now because the only images that we have come from the Hytale website in the media section and we still don't know if this is gonna be a regular monster or actually a boss. I am leaning towards a boss because you know it's a dragon, it's big, it's probably hard to fight. So I'm imagining it would be a boss but we don't have 100% confirmation. And then we've got the Yeti. The Yeti is pretty straightforward, it is pretty much uh, a Yeti. It lives in the snow and we know from the trailer that it can pick up pieces of ground and blocks and throw them at you so this will definitely be hard to fight and last of all we can find the outlander and the outlanders are pretty much a tribal race they aren't like an actual different race because they are said to be corrupted humans so just think of them as evil humans that put on masks and pretty much want to destroy you and we have many type of outlanders which i'll be showing you guys right now first of all we've got the outlander colossus then we've got the outlander culturists the outlander leader the outlander priest the outlander ranger and the outlander warrior now going over to zone 4 we don't have much information about this zone because Aitel hasn't given like a proper blog post about zone 4 so what we are left with is pretty much this concept art of dinosaurs and starting off with the cave t-rex the cave t-rex is most definitely going to be hostile 
And this T-Rex, as the name says, is said to live in caves, that's why he's got a bioluminescent lure above his head, so that he's got some light in the dark caves. And the cave T-Rex is going to be one of the biggest monsters that will be available in Hytale when the game comes out, and it is very possible that this T-Rex could actually be a boss. Now going over to the raptors, just like the T-Rex, the raptors have got some bioluminescent lure above their head, which means that they probably also live in very dark places, so that's why they need the light. Just like an actual raptor, this is probably going to be one of the fastest animals in the entire game, because you know raptors are pretty fast and pretty sneaky, so there's a good chance that Hytale raptors will be like the real ones. Then next up we've got the macaque which honestly we don't have any information about, we just know that it's going to be in zone 4 and same goes for the prehistoric chicken. The prehistoric chicken is probably going to be friendly just like the macaque but that's all we've got. And last but definitely not least we have the dimetrodon and dimetrodon Unlike the cave T-Rex and the raptor doesn't have any sort of bioluminescent loot above his head, so this is most likely going to live in normal lands and not in dark places. This dinosaur could actually be friendly because it is not a carnivore which means that it doesn't want to eat you, it pretty much just wants to eat grass, so it is very possible that it will actually be friendly and who knows maybe you can actually do stuff like ride him, but obviously we have no more information about that yet. Alright so now we covered every zone that we actually have information about and with that being said let's go over to those monsters that aren't actually available in only one zone, these are either available in more than one or in every single Hytale zone. And first off we have the skeletons, you guys can see some gameplay where the players are fighting skeletons in the screen right now and the skeletons are pretty much enemies that can spawn in both the open world and also in dungeons, so skeletons can literally be anywhere and it seems like they will be in every single zone. Next up we have the void spawn and these are said to be one of the most dangerous and lethal creatures in Hytale. The void spawn first of all is huge and second he's got a huge sword which is called the Forium and they also bring armor. Now we have another void creature which is one of my favorite ones in the game as of how it looks and it is the void eye. The void eye is pretty much like a scout, his main job is to gather information for Varin and they have a special ability that when these void eyes are injured they are able to call other void creatures like the void spawn or even crawlers so that they get some help. And last of all we have the zombie that just like the skeleton can appear in any zone in Hytale and obviously they aren't friendly and we don't have much information about the zombie. Zombies never really walk alone so when you see a zombie it's very likely that you see an entire pack. Now going over to the monsters that appear in specific areas we will start off with the golem and the golem is pretty much a monster that is located in the temple of Gaia and their main goal is to defend this temple against enemies and golems are pretty much likely to be friendly unless a golem gets corrupted by a void element and if that actually happens the golem will become a corrupted golem and obviously if a golem is corrupted it will no longer be friendly. Then we've got the kraken and the kraken has only appeared in concept art, actually in the concept art that you are seeing in the screen right now so we don't have much information about the kraken, we know that it will be located in the ocean and it is speculated that the kraken will be an actual boss. Then we've got the void piranha and the void piranha pretty much is a monster that is located in the ocean Ocean, and it's very similar to the normal piranha but in this case this piranha got corrupted by a void element and it most likely turned into a void piranha meaning that it probably won't be friendly. Alright so going over to the last section of the video and these are the monsters or creatures that we don't know where they will be located, they could be anywhere, literally we don't have any information 
about their location and starting off we have the undead chicken and the undead chicken is pretty much like a normal chicken that is in the undead form and she's got like a fork sticking out of her back but there's not much information about this mob. Then we have the void dragon and the void dragon is a void type of monster meaning that it is probably corrupted by the void element. This dragon was presented in the Hytale announcement trailer and it is speculated that this dragon will be a very dangerous boss. Now for our final monster we have the giant white spider and there's not much to say about this mob. Pretty much a spider that is pretty big and also white obviously that lives in caves and it's definitely not going to be friendly. And this was it for the video, let me know if you enjoyed in the comments down below, if you are new to the channel, subscribe for more Hytale content, leave a like, leave a comment and I will see everyone in the next video, peace out.